All right, it's me, C. Diddy. We're back here at Cypher High School. Bobcat fight never dies, ever, ever, ever dies, like Taylor Swift would say. And now I want to talk to you about my experience growing up as a hooper, um, going through middle school and high school and everything. So here's a little bit of advice. Here are my two cents. As a hooper, I would tell the 13-year-old me that you should not set any limits to your game. I grew up during the time where you're big, you're probably over six feet, you gotta stay by the basket. You shouldn't shoot the three. You shouldn't dribble the ball up and down the court. And you know what? I still dribble the ball. There are times where it was crazy, you know, I was point forward and I didn't listen to my coach. But I would tell myself if I was 13 that you should not ever limit yourself with regard to basketball. Nowadays, you see versatile posts that can go outside and knock the three, or you have like Serge Ibaka, who's you know a, a deadly from you know 15 feet in. You have Kevin Durant, who's seven feet shooting. So I think you want to be as good as you can be. You want to be a deadly sniper or like a defensive player on the perimeter in the paint. You want to be as versatile as possible. The game is adapting and it's becoming super precise. For instance, you don't want to be a post and they just sag off of you and don't guard you outside the free throw line. You want to work on your game like that. That's what I'm currently doing. So if I was 13 years old and my coach told me, hey, you know, just stick with the bunnies, the inside shots. Um, I would say, coach, you know, I understand where you're coming from, but if I'm wide open, at, if I'm in rhythm, I want to shoot it. I've been working hard in practice every day. I've been coming extra and shooting, putting up 500 shots a day, which is a good number. Um, Please, coach, if you have confidence in me, let me take that once in a while. And then you'll build confidence, and hopefully your coach would let you do that, which I assume. Coach, I hope you're watching this. you got to support that as well. So the 13-year-old me would definitely shoot the ball, would dribble the ball, would work more on ball handling and perimeter um, defense, and just hope to be the best player, the most complete player at every inch of the court. Also, to anybody that's young and playing, you know, whether you're 13 or just, you know, about to go to college, I would tell you to maintain the integrity of the game. The beauty of basketball is that when you're like formulating a team, whether you're in middle school or high school, it's a process, it's a journey. It shouldn't just be about one star player and then it doesn't matter about the rest. It should be about the journey you take, whether you're the first person off the bench or the last person, whether you're the star or whether you're the role player. Like, that's that's the integrity of the game of basketball. And that's the thing we need to protect. So with social media, a lot of times people start feeling themselves, right? And it's cool, you know, that's the beauty of social media. But at the same time, that makes me makes us kids, us kids, I'm way not a kid anymore, but anyways, it makes kids grow up too fast. That's what I always tell my little sisters, you know, just cherish your teammates and cherish, you know, the beauty of what sports bring, you know, teamwork, hard work, integrity, you know, working together through adversity, to, you know, to try to get a win. That's what should be celebrated and not, you know, having a hundred zillion likes on Instagram for your shoes or, you know, how the team is a certain, like, Nike team or Adidas team or something like that. Let's all work together to protect the integrity of the game, especially women's basketball, because women's basketball is still gaining respect and it's really fun and exciting moment and we got to protect it and we got to look out for each other. So if you have any questions as a young hooper, how to deal with, you know, nerves or something like that, because I still get nervous before games if you have questions about how to stay, you know, mentally motivated um, for your games. Just hit me up, ask me, I'll get back to you. Uh, and I'll also give you anything that helps me, you know, any advice. So at me, tag me, post, whatever, text me, call me, beat me, the usual.